Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Our topic for today is about ratio of two given numbers. What is a ratio? A ratio is the comparison of two or more quantities. For example, ikukumpara natin ang population ng China sa population ng Philippines. Kapag gumawa tayo ng comparison between two quantities or two or more quantities, ang tawag na natin doon is ratio. So, we have three ways to write ratio. So, if we're going to write the ratio of China's population to the Philippine population, so ito yung unang way natin in words. So, 1,439,323,776 to 109,581,078. Then, second way is yung gagamit tayo ng colon. Ito yung kalimitan nating uh, gina, ginagamit sa pagsulat ng ratio. Then, another way is yung fractional form. So, ibig sabihin, yung ratio can also be expressed in, fraction, in fractional form. So, kapag naman babasahin natin yung uh, ratio, so we we'll read all of these ratios as 1,439,323,776 to 109,581,078. Okay, so let's have this example. Based, based on the figures below, answer the given questions. So, meron tayong... Ang mga figures dito, so we have four keys, then seeds. So we have seven seeds, and we have five clocks. So first question is, what is the ratio of keys to seeds? So ilan ulit yung keys na ating nakikita? So we have four keys. Pag kinompare natin siya sa bilang ng number ng sa bilang ng seeds, so 7 ng seeds, so 4 is to 7. Again, ulitin natin. How many keys? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, una natin isusulat yung 4 sa ating ratio. Then, ilan naman yung seeds? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7. Therefore, ang answer natin, ang ratio ng keys to seeds ay 4 is to 7. Okay, next question. What is the ratio of clocks to seeds? So, unahin muna natin bilangin yung clocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, merong 5 clocks. Then, yung seeds natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ang answer natin ngayon is 5 is to 7. Okay, so let's answer question number 3. What is the ratio of keys to clocks? So, i-compare natin yung number ng keys sa clocks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, clocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, the ratio of keys to clocks is 4 is to 5 or 4 to 5. Proceed tayo sa fourth question. What is the ratio of seeds to keys? So, ratio naman ng seeds sa keys. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 na seeds. Compare natin sa bilang ng keys. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Therefore, the ratio of seeds to keys is 7 is to 4. Next question, what is the ratio of keys to all items? So, we're going to compare the number of keys sa lahat ng items, sa number ng, uh, total number of items na nakikita natin. So, again, how many keys? 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Then, compare natin siya sa lahat ng items. Kung may 4 keys, i-add natin sa 7 seeds, so 11. Plus natin yung 5 clocks, so that is equal to 16. Therefore, ang ratio ng keys to all items is 4 is to 16 or 1 is to 4. Diba kanina, sinabi natin na another way to write ratio is uh, in fractional form. So, kung kung 4 is to 16, kapag nilipat natin yan or change natin into fraction, pwede natin lowest term ang 4 over 16, which will become 1 is to 4. Ito. So, these are the things that we need to remember about ratio. The number being compared is followed by the number to which it is compared to. So, kagay kanina, uh, pinagkumpara natin yung China sa Philippines. So, mauna nating isulat yung number ng China o yung population ng China kumpara sa, o bago natin isulat yung uh, population ng Philippines. Kasi naunang sinabi na i-compare natin ang population ng China sa population ng Philippines. Then, we also call this an ordered pair of numbers. So, yung tawag natin doon sa dalawang number is ordered pair. A ratio can be written using colon between two numbers or in fraction form, but a ratio is not a fraction. So, sinabi natin kanina na yung another way to write ratio is yung paggamit ng colon sa pa, uh, paglalagay natin ng colon sa pagitan ng dalawang numbers. Then, pwede rin natin siyang sulat in fraction form, pero hindi naman nangangahulugan na ang ratio is a fraction. A rate is a ratio that compares two measurements. So, yung rate, kapag uh, pinagkukumpara natin ay dalawang measurement, ang tawag na natin doon is rate. So, yun ang ratio and rate. Let's try to answer the given questions. What is the ratio of the number of vowels to the number of consonants in the English alphabet? So, we have, these are the vowels, yung A, E, I, O, U. Then, the consonants are B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. So, kung Kukunin natin ang comparison or ratio ng vowels to consonants. So, meron tayong 5 vowels and 21 consonants. So, the ratio of the number of vowels to the number of consonants in the English alphabet is 5 is to 21. Okay, next question. What is the ratio of the number of men to the number of women in the roster of Philippine presidents? So, meron tayo ditong mga Filipi, ah, ito yung mga Philippine presidents natin. From Emilio Aguinaldo up to uh, President Rodrigo Duterte. So, ilan daw ang ratio or what is the ratio of the number of men sa number ng women? So, kung bibilangin natin ang men, meron tayong 14 na men na naging president. Then, compare natin sa dalawang women na naging president which who are uh, President Corazon Aquino and pres and ex-president Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. So, ang ating ratio sa number ng men to the number of women in the roster of Philippine presidents is 14 is to 2. Or when we express this ratio in simplest form, that is 7 is to 1. Another question, what is the ratio of the number of days in a week to number of weeks in one month? So, meron tayo ditong calendar ng January. So, ang tinatanong is ratio of the number of days sa number of weeks in one month. Number of days in a week and number of weeks in one month. So, ilang bang araw meron sa isang linggo? Bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, meron tayong 7 days in a week. Then, ilan namang number of weeks in a month? Bilangin natin. Pag sinabing week, itong isang hanay na to. 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, ang ratio ng number of days in a week to number of weeks in one month is 7 is to 4. Let's 
let's have the fourth question. What is the ratio of number of seconds in a minute to seconds in an hour? Okay, analyze natin. Meron tayong orasan dito. Sa loob ng isang minuto, merong 60 seconds. And sa loob ng isang oras ay may 60 minutes. ba? Isang oras, 60 minutes. Kung ganoon, ang isang oras ay may katumbas na 3,600 seconds. Therefore, the ratio of number of seconds in a minute to seconds in an hour is 60 is to 3,600 or when we express this ratio in its simplest form, that is 1 is to 60. In fraction form naman, 60 over 3,600 or 1 over 60. So let's have this last question. What is the ratio of the number of months in a year to months in a decade? Okay, so you analyze natin. So sa isang year, merong 12 months. And sa isang decade, that is equivalent to 10 years. Therefore, ang 10 years ay may 120 months. So kung kukunin natin ang ratio ng number of months in a year to, na to months in a decade, the ratio of it is 12 is to 120 or, or ratio in its simplest form that is 1 is to 10. In fraction form, it is 12 over 120 or 1 over 10. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.